five players Man United should sign. Other Premier League teams seem to be doing better than Manchester United in this transfer window, and this is a bit frustrating for fans. With the departure of five first-team players this summer, Paul Pogba, Jesse Lingard, Nemanja Matic, Juan Mata and Edinson Cavani, Ten Hag will no doubt be looking to bring in at least five new players. As Ten Hag begins his significant rebuild this summer, we're going to be showing you five players we think Man United should sign this summer. Before we continue, smash the like button if you're a Man United fan. The first player we want Man United to sign this summer is Ivan Toney. With the future of Cristiano Ronaldo not certain, and the fact that Anthony Martial doesn't look like he can sustain his fine pre-season form when the season officially starts, Man United should definitely be looking to sign a new centre-forward. Also, there's the case that any team that wants to be successful in Europe must have a good squad depth. And currently, Man United are only one injury away from trouble. If any of the current front three of Rashford, Martial and Sancho should get an injury, Ten Hag will have to field a youngster. And the Premier League isn't very nice to young players, especially in a club as big as Man United. Another reason why United should go for Tony is that he will fit perfectly into Eric Ten Hag's style of play. The English striker was a prominent feature for the Bees last season. He contributed six assists, in addition to his 14 goals scored. He did very well under Thomas Frank, and his potential is clear to all. Tony presses very hard and has a very good aerial ability, two attributes that Ten Hag would want to have in his strikers. Whether United will attempt to make their initial offer for the 26-year-old this summer is still up in the air. He might not be guaranteed a starting spot in the lineup, at least not until Martial messes up but he would give United a fresh and different option. He also gets along well with Christian Eriksen, with whom he had a great season combining with. He's one of the best in the Premier League at holding up the ball and pulling others into action, making him a genuine handful up front. He has a strong physical presence, something United don't really have right now. So yeah, he'd be a very good signing for United this summer. The next player we think Man United should sign is N'Golo Conte. Yeah, this sounds odd, but this could be the signing that helps United seal a spot in the top four and maybe even win a few trophies. Eric Ten Hag has said in recent interviews that he needs a midfielder that can help link the defence to the attacking players. And Nogolo Conte is the perfect man for that job. On his day, he's definitely the best ball-carrying midfielder in the world. And not only that, he's also the best at winning the ball back. Early in the 2000s, Claude Makalele, a one-man conductor, invented the Makalele role. The false nine position was also popularized by the great Lionel Messi. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, a small Frenchman from Paris, who began his career in the third division of French football, appeared. In English football, N'Golo Conte emerged as Leicester's go-to player. In addition to revolutionizing Leicester City Football Club by helping them win their first league championship against all odds of 5,000 to 1, the modest and unassuming central midfielder also moved beyond the position of a destroyer for years to come. Conte plays as a central midfielder, but his duties can change depending on team needs, a manager's desire, or the nature of the match. Conte has typically been seen as a destroyer, stopping the opposition's play in midfield, on the outside, and pretty much everywhere. He is, however, much more than that, as we have seen in recent seasons. Conte has won two Premier Leagues, a PFA Player of the Year award, a Champions League and other awards while playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder in a two-man midfield. So if history is any indication, this is his best position. He can play in one of the double sixes, as Tuchel famously puts it, and this is what Ten Hag desperately needs at United. Another player Manchester United should sign this summer is Anthony. The first reason why United should sign Anthony is because he's already familiar with Eric Ten Hag's style of play, so fitting in wouldn't be a problem. The 5'9 winger is perfect for this United team, who seem to have only one natural right winger, Jadon Sancho. He played for the Brazil's under-23 team since 2019, made his senior team debut recently, and has since scored twice in nine games for the Selecao. Anthony was phenomenal last season under Eric Ten Hag. Despite missing the final nine games of the season due to an ankle injury, Anthony put up very impressive stats for Ajax last season, as they won their second consecutive Eredivisie title. The 22-year-old registered 12 goals and provided 10 assists in 32 games across all competitions. In order to beat his opponents, Anthony's game heavily relies on his technical proficiency, 
as well as his speed and acceleration. The Brazilian made 23 appearances in the Eredivisie last season, averaging 1.8 dribbles per game. Only Paul Pogba had more for Manchester United with two. Anthony was also fouled 1.3 times per game. The 22-year-old also averaged 3.4 total shots per game in the Dutch top division between 2021 and 2022. With Cristiano Ronaldo, 3.7, the only player on Ralph Ragnick's team to have a higher rating. He also averaged 1.6 key passes per game, which was only surpassed by Bruno Fernandes, 2.5, and Luke Shaw, 2, for the Red Devils. Every time Anthony receives the ball, he immediately thinks about moving the ball forward, regardless of the circumstance or the number of defenders surrounding him. This is typical of Brazilian flair. With daring flicks and tricks, he can outwit an opponent and create opportunities for himself and his teammates to score. A triple danger on the ball, Anthony is a true example of a modern attacker. With a little magic, he can outwit a player, split a defence open with a pass behind the defence and finish the play himself. Ten Hag acknowledged how talented Anthony is in November 2021 and said that it was likely that his star would move away from Amsterdam very soon. The next player on our list is Max Ahrens. Any Man United fan would admit that Aaron Wambasaka is just not good enough for Man United. And Brandon Williams, too, sadly falls under the same category. Therefore, Man United need to go for another versatile right back to provide competition for Diogo Dallo. Eric Ten Hag likes his fullback to play inverted, almost like an extra midfielder, and this suits Max Ahrens perfectly. Despite his youth, he maintains composure while he has the ball and receives passes while half turning, allowing him to advance up the flank. He is continuously aware of his surroundings and is unlikely to be hurried into making a mistake or a pointless clearance. He is frequently the driving force behind converting defence into attack for Norwich. He accomplishes this by either running early and aiming to catch the ball higher up the pitch, or by carrying the ball swiftly from deep. Ahrens is basically a competent defender and is capable when matched up against a winger one-on-one, -on -one, but he performs at his best when his team has the ball and poses an attacking threat as the finest fullbacks must. Their centre-backs frequently pass diagonally to him, allowing him to move forward on his right foot. In order to advance, he needs to follow his pass more regularly. He prefers to play vertical passes on the outside rather than sending the ball back into the field. He has a keen sense of danger and is skilled at sweeping up around his centre-backs when on the back foot. In a one-on-one -on -one duel, Aarons relishes the physical contact and uses his strength in the upper body to wrangle his opponent's position and get them off the ball. He quickly engages the opposition and attempts to knock them off balance in order to induce a mistake. That has frequently been a plus, but he might need to be a little bit more circumspect in his defence. All in all, he's the perfect right back for Man United and they should definitely get him. Last but not least, and this will surely cause a lot of controversy in the comment section but we'll have it, Lionel Messi. Yep, you heard that right. I mean, who in the world wouldn't want to have Messi on their team? Also, what better way to replace Cristiano Ronaldo than signing Lionel Messi? Ten Hag likes to play fluid and fast football. He also likes to hold possession, and everyone knows that Lionel Messi is a master at all these. Arguably one of the best dribblers in the world, he will surely bring quality into this current Man United squad. This signing will also bring fear to opponents, and when there is fear, mistakes will be made. Lionel Messi struggled last season under Pochettino, but Eric Ten Hag would definitely be able to get the best out of the little magician. Eric Ten Hag likes to play with an inside forward player just like Anthony. Plus, he is the best player in the world, so he'll definitely be a good signing. So, what are your thoughts on these signings? Let us know down in the comment section. Remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications for more Manchester United videos. On the screen now should be another good video worth watching, so click on that video and we will see you in the next one.